All right, boys, I'm back. I'm icy and I'm clean. All right. <laughs> Enough about that. Enough about confessions of a dangerous mind. But uh, let's get really into this. Hold on, let me move my chair. Get a little bit more comfortable for this. All right, let's get into this, boys. So, uh, let's see how long I can do daily because school ended for me. So now it's four months of summer. I would like to grind that out. Um, and let's see how New Joyzy does. So, to quickly reiterate, go through the lines real quickly because I do have a trade in mind that I want to do in this episode. But... Pow and P is our absolute amazing playmaker on the first line. So you can just look at this team, right? We we are not ready. We need more first round picks. We need more. Just looking at it, at our team, and then looking at our prospects quickly, we don't have much, right? I mean, we drafted some players that are not ready yet, you know, but it's that's going to be years down the road. We, we need some more now. We need to build the prospect pool. So... First trade I have in mind, because if you remember at the end of the last video, I know it was like a week ago, or maybe even more, we got Vancouver's first, we traded away Simi Vatan in, I know, it's unfortunate, but we need firsts, and I was looking at another team's first, that's kind of cheap, they could miss the playoff Chicago, right, that's a cheap first rounder, and even if it's a late first rounder, I will still take it. So, because then we'll have three first rounders. We don't have a second or a third, so we have to remember that now. Um, and one player that I was thinking about we could get rid of, unfortunately, we just drafted him, unfortunately, is Hugo Haas, right? 57 at 18, I know he grows, but he's not going to be ready until years down the road, and he's not that much of a loss. And just to make sure this... And, and let us not forget, we also drafted Victor Soderstrom, who is already better than him. Pretty much the same type of defenseman. We don't need both of them, right? Uh, just to make sure this trade goes through, we are going to throw in next year's third. Sorry, I have allergies. Anyways, they want Hugo Haas. They want the, the, they want the third rounder for their first. Can we make it happen? Will it go through? A bit low. Just a smidget low. Can we give them like a sixth for next year as well? Will it go through? And it does. So, we lose a prospect. We lose a couple of the worse uh, rounders, later rounds. But now in this upcoming draft, we have three first round picks. Which I think is definitely going to help us this year. Help grow the prospect pool. And that's all the trades we're going to do. So, being as the team that we do have, I don't see us making the playoffs. I mean, like, the tanks are kind of rolling last year. You don't know. Palm and B could have 40 goals. I mean, I guess. But I don't see it happening. But, uh, I'm just going to go to the trade deadline in this video. So, just while this is simming, because the sim is so slow, I'll update you guys a little bit. So, if you hear construction... It's unfortunate my deck outside is being reconstructed. So, if you hear it in the background, they're not working right now. I tried to find a time when they were on a break to do this, but uh, no, I just felt that I owed it to you guys to get another video out and to really just start going to uh, posting daily or as much as I can because, you know, I love doing this. It's just I couldn't find the right time. And I just uh, wanted to update you guys. So, not a very good start. One and five to start the year. Uh, we're going to do the first month. Then we're going to, I think, if nothing interesting happens, I'm not going to make you watch the whole slow-ass sim. I'll just uh, sim to the trade deadline. So, oh, okay, we're starting to turn around here. Oh, okay, our four-game win streak. No, that ends. All right, so... At the end of the first month, we are 5-7. and seven. Please don't send the San Jose game. Thank you. So, we actually lost to Vancouver. Funny. Okay, so Nico Heath here, he has 9 points in 12 games. That is pretty good. It's not amazing, but it is pretty good for him. Especially on the team. Minus 3, plus 1. Palm and P. What a playmaker. 5 assists. What did I tell you? He's a playmaker. Yes, for Brad. Just to kind of quickly go through this. Everyone's kind of a minus player right now, which is unfortunate. Except for Nico, because Nico is Nico. 
He thinks he's better than everyone else on the team. I know it. He told me that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, two games played. Zero wins. 25 saves. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure. Oh, wait. Is no auto rate... I just wanted to see, because we only have 12 games played. I know, this is this would be terrible for me to realize that uh, auto-rotate goalies is off. And I want to make sure they're on. Let me see. Yeah, they're on. Okay. All right. I guess Core Snyder's just getting the first 12 games. All right, so um, I'll stop the sim if anything interesting happens. But right now, I'm going to sim to the trade deadline. Uh, also partially because I need to blow my nose, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely we're gonna go to the trade deadline right now. Okay, so here we are at the trade deadline, and we are the worst team in the NHL by far at 16-44-2 with 34 points. I mean, we're 20 points below the second worst team in the Ottawa Senators, so, <laughs> tank for Lafreniere? We've been really tanking this year, so yeah. If you want to take a look at our other uh, first rounders, Vancouver, hopefully they lose in the first round because we can get the 20th pick or something like that, I believe. Because, I mean, it's nice to have their first, though. We get a deeper first rounder, good. Chicago could miss, though, and I'm hoping Chicago does. I mean, they're two points behind the two wildcard spots in San Jose and Calgary. I hope they keep them. Uh, but if you want to look at the team, just kind of see how we are doing. So, believe it or not, minus 20. He still has 24 goals. Nico Heischer. Yeah, he's going to want he's gonna want money, and we got to pay him. Heischer grew to an 87. Very nicely done. He's going to want money. Palm and P. <laughs> Palm and P. Yes, for Brat, Blake Coleman. My chair is broken. Yeah, everyone is not performing to where they can be or should be. Yeah, Butcher dropped. Oh, Jesus. Butcher dropped. That's a Pedersen dropped. Yeah, the whole team. The whole team is dropping. And there's nothing I could really do. It's just we're just bad. And hopefully they'll bounce back up next year. Oh, boy. We're going to have to have a big free agency. But first, what I want to do is make sure that we sign extensions to those key players like Hall and Heeshear. So, Heeshear, 9 mil for 6 years. I can do that. Fine. Perfect. And then we got Taylor Hall. He's going to want money. He wants less money. Yeah. They both want to come back. I'm fine with paying them that money. Let's just see if they re-sign. I hope they do. Because they want to come back. So, hopefully, Taylor Hall accepts and he should accept. So, okay, good. Good, good, good. So, we have those players locked up long term. We don't have to worry. Our two most important key pieces on this team are back for seven years. I think both of them signed for seven years. But Taylor Hall will be 34. He wants to stay in New Jersey for the long haul. And I don't blame him. Actually, I'm a little surprised. I mean, who really wants to play in Newark, New Jersey? But uh, he's back with a vengeance. So that's where I'm going to end it here, boys. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you boys in the next one.